in any manufacturing process there are bound to be mistakes made. Both human and mechanical errors occur on an irregular basis, resulting in defective products. In most industries these bad parts are caught by quality control inspectors or by the persons responsible for packaging the finished products. When spotted, these rejects are simply destroyed. If they succeed in eluding detection, the customer who receives the erroneous part will likely return it for a refund or exchange. But what happens when the defective item is money? The United States Mint, at its various facilities, produces billions of coins annually. This works out to more than 40 million coins daily at the off-center St. Philadelphia and Denver Mints and somewhat lesser numbers at the specialized West Point and San Francisco Mint. Whenever that much of anything is produced there are bound to be errors made. Similarly 1943 D. Lincoln cent struck on bronze planchet is a biggest example of mint error and it made the coin big worthy even bigger than your imaginations. Only 20 total bronze cents stated 1943 and this is the only Denver Mint example known and is also the most valuable cent in the world. As it was sold for $1,700,000 legend numismatics auction in 2010. Heritage's comment on their origin quote, When the mint switched from bronze to zinc plated steel for cent coinage, a handful of leftover bronze plan case nevertheless found their way into the coining press and were stamped with the date 1943. This occurred at all three mint facilities to strike since that year, though a majority of the known 1943 bronze or copper cents were struck in Philadelphia, not Denver or San Francisco. Fewer than 20 are known. One the flip side of that coin. There was a period during transitioning back to copper in 1944 from the 1943 steel pennies, that there were a few pennies mistakenly made of steel that they didn't catch in time that were made during 1944 as well that are also rare and are worth lots of money. Collectors should be on the lookout for copper-plated steel scents and should test all possible 1943 dated copper planchet with a magnet. A copper-plated or coated steel scent will attract to a magnet. You can check your collection of coins to find if you also have the worthiest penny in your collection by just having this simple test.